Avebury sits in the heart of rural Wiltshire. It's owned and run by the National Trust and is part of a much larger group of stone circles. It was originally constructed over 4,000 years ago in the New Stone Age, which is also known as the Neolithic period. The purpose of the site is sadly unknown, but it's most likely to have been used for rituals and ceremonies. By the Iron Age, the site had largely become abandoned. Whilst there is some evidence of use during the Roman times, the modern day village itself started to grow up during the early medieval period. Locals began deconstruction of the site during the 17th century, but fortunately early antiquarians John Aubrey and William Stukeley had recorded much of the site before this destruction began. Avebury sits in a very historic part of the English countryside and just up the road there is another amazing site known as Silbury Hill. Silbury Hill is a 40 meter high man-made construction which dates from the same period as the Avebury stones. It's composed mainly of chalk and clay excavated from the surrounding landscape. Estimates have calculated that it would have taken 500 men working round the clock for 15 years to excavate, transport and shape the 248,000 cubic metres of material. The organisation and skill required has caused historians to re-evaluate the tribal structure and control systems of the population of Neolithic Britain. The hill was constructed in two phases with both of them in perfect alignment. The hill is based around a gravel core that uses stakes and sarsen boulders with layers of chalk rubble and earth rammed on top of it. In 1867 the Wiltshire Archaeological and Natural History Society excavated the east side of the hill to see if traces of the Roman road were underneath it. No traces were found and later excavations located the road in the fields to the south making a pronounced swerve to avoid the base of the hill. This was conclusive proof that the hill was there before the road. The vegetation on Silbury Hill is species rich and unique, so in 1965 it was designated a site of special scientific interest. The West Kennet Long Barrow is a Neolithic tomb, more commonly referred to as a barrow. It is situated on a chalk ridge close to Silbury Hill and just a mile and a half from the Avebury Stone Circle. The site was first recorded in the 17th century and then again in the late 18th century, but it was not until 1955 that it was properly excavated. Indiscriminate digging over the centuries had damaged the site, but at least 46 separate and individual burials have since been identified. Construction of the site began around 3600 BC, some 400 years before work was started on Stonehenge. The latest excavations revealed that the side chambers occur inside an exact isosceles triangle whose height is twice the width. The barrow was used for approximately 1,000 years and at the end of this period the Beaker people filled the passage and the chamber to the roof with earth and stones. When excavated, charcoal, bone tools, beads and beakers were removed and these are now on display in the Wiltshire Museum in Devizes. <laughs> 